still just chilling on the couch. Meds, water, and the Sims. Day in, day out. The boy is home, though. Beta day 17. because of my boobs. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I have to go do hair. So, that's what I'm on my way to do. Do some hair. It's cloudy, but it's you still see the sky, but it's a lot of big puffy clouds. So, that'll make a great time lapse as I'm driving. There's not Alpui in there, or whatever the name of that shampoo is, but um, I just like the purple bottles. <laughs> Camera aspect. Yes. All done with my client's hair. Oh, my knee. It hurts. It's been hurting since Sunday. I, came, I did something when I came home and got out of the car. I think that on top of just driving in a lot of traffic with driving a stick. And my knees be bothering me anyway. And the stick, that probably just irritated it. Which is why I'm not happy that we had to do our follow-up appointment with the surgeon because her OBGYN is booked. So, drive all the way across, like way across two counties to go to her surgeon for the follow-up appointment next week. But hopefully my knee will be feeling better by then, I hope. I'm about to run in the store real quick. And I really want to go to the other grocery store because they're cheaper. But I'm just going to get what I need to get and go. Like, I'm not buying anything extra. I know you spend more money at this grocery store. Um, I just want to get a bag of spinach and some bow tie pasta. Or orchetti, or orchetti, or however you say it. I have tofu. I have... 
onions and peppers. I just need the spinach in my dick. My knee, my knee, my knee, my knee. Oh my goodness. It really hurts. Jesus. I'm gonna take some ibuprofen when I get in the house. One of my daughters. Hmm. She got a lot. She ain't gonna need them. I wouldn't take anything like Oxy or anything. Like, that's just not even my stilo. <laughs> not even the way I vibe or move. I really will sit and deal with pain before I take medication, but because I feel like this might be inflammation, maybe I should take something that deals with that. I think ibuprofen does stuff with inflammation. I'm not sure. I might need to read. Oh, if I still ate chicken, that place looked like it would be so good. Uh, I'm going to park right here. That's as close as I'm going to get anyway. I'm going to back in so I can just pull out. I need to go to a gas station, so that's it's kind of good that I came right here. this high grocery store my bank is in here though my bank with a credit union that is the best in my opinion i can't be able to fix so long and get a credit union account and running your life on autopilot that something like this happens yeah pump gas and never even put the cap back on or close the little door nor do I recall getting home <laughs> I was on autopilot I pull up in the driveway like wait a minute I'm home I know my car is dirty but my son will wash it eventually and I spill gas on my crochet boots <laughs> so that's wonderful <sighs> um, yeah have a good day oh. again I had to pause because I had to get everything together and I couldn't think and do both this is the creamy alfredo sauce with um, spinach and mushrooms and peppers and I have orochetti um, pasta and the sauce I made it with raw cashews I used a seven ounce bag um, that's 212 grams uh, <clears throat> that I got from the grocery store and I also put in there I would say three tablespoons of nutritional yeast um, a table, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, but all these things you can do to taste, you know, if you blend it and you realize, oh, I need something else, just go right ahead. I uh, also used, um, garlic powder, tablespoon, I mean, teaspoon and <coughs> a dash of nutmeg and, um, almond milk. I used a cup and a half of almond milk. But the thing, the thing that most I put in there, and I might be under measuring or over measuring, I don't know, but I did, I did use a lot of nutritional yeast. And I blended it in my Ninja. And this is how it came out. You still eventually do have to add water to it. I mean, this is a perfect consistency, but when it, get, it gets thicker in the pot. So I did add some water from the pasta into it to really make it nice and creamy. And this is it. So I'm gonna taste it on my pasta. And um, the sauce itself is delicious. Oh, and I did three whole large size sun dried tomatoes in the salt in the um do that in there too, and then I um just pulse it in the blender till it was smooth and creamy. If you have to add a little bit more of this or a little bit more of that, do it to your taste. Good. The sauce is really creamy. And I definitely am going to make this again. And I can see how you can make like a 
maybe a creamy like tomato sauce, you know, like or a vodka sauce or something similar. I'm going to play around with this. This is so much fun. I cannot wait to do some more stuff, more experimenting. A roasted red pepper sauce with the cashew cream. I can't wait. I can't wait. Hey guys, so I decided since I did not have any art content to give you guys that I would just um, pull some old footage that I've never shared on YouTube before. Some of you who follow me on other platforms may have seen this, but you didn't get an audio voiceover with it. Um, this was a piece that I created probably like a... Uh, I would say August or September of last year and while I was creating it I did something I hadn't done in a long time which was listen to music without listening to the TV and I put on the music that you hear in the background and I really was able to just really tap into the creative process and it just had me overwhelmed I was weeping while I was painting this but not in a sad way it was very cathartic. It was very spiritual. I felt connected to God. I was thanking Him and praising Him as the creator and giver of the gift, whether I worship Him or not. Um, it was my birthright. And I'm so thankful to be able to be in a position where I can just really hone in on my skills as an artist and take the time to really cultivate my talent. Um, such an amazing journey the whole entire process from beginning to the end I really love the paint porn as some people call it where you finally get to pour that varnish on there and everything just comes together and comes to life that part is just so amazing and then I kind of get sad at the end of the journey like dag it's over and because it takes so much for me to create I pour my whole soul into a piece sometimes it's kind of hard to get started again and get into a new piece but um as frustrating as this journey is sometimes as an artist where you don't know you know what this month brings as far as your finances and the cash flow i don't think i trade it for anything i'm so grateful for this gift i'm so grateful to be able to share it with the world and even though it's a very modest living, I'm grateful to be able to earn a living, living from it. Um, yeah, so that's all I have for you guys today. I will try to create some current content for you guys. After all, this is an art channel, <laughs> even though it's a life in the day of artists. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I always appreciate you watching. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. And uh, grace and peace. See you guys tomorrow. God bless.